Police announced a cold case is closing with charges against this man. Investigators say 42-year-old Curtis Paget beat and stabbed a man to death in 20, 2007. KCRG TV's Molly Swain joins us live in our studio with the big break in this case. Molly? I did reach out to police today. No word yet on what new evidence came to light, but we do know that they believe the person who killed this man, Dennis First, is in the Lynn County Jail. First was 64 years old when he was beaten and stabbed to death inside his apartment on the southwest side. On Friday, police called the discovery of Dennis First's body at his apartment an unattended death. By the weekend, autopsy results had changed that to a homicide. That was the KCRG report from May of 2007. At that time, Cedar Rapids police told KCRG they had collected DNA evidence at the scene they believed would lead them to a killer. Well, there are uh, leads that we're following up on, and uh, there is uh, uh, some evidence that uh, we believe uh, uh, DNA will help us with, and we're following up on that. But it took almost 16 years for now 42-year-old Curtis Paget to be charged. He was arrested Tuesday on harassment charges in an unrelated case. Wednesday, he was charged with killing Dennis First. He was the nicest guy I ever met, and I mean, geez, if you know, if you were nice with him, he let you in the door. Paget has been charged with First's murder, but he's also connected to another cold case: the 2001 disappearance of 15-year-old Aaron Pospisil. According to investigators, she was last seen leaving her home with Paget. He told police he gave her a ride to a friend's house. No one answered the door there, and that she left in another vehicle that pulled up to the house. No charges have been filed in her disappearance. In an interview shortly after First's murder, Paget told the Gazette he sometimes rolled cigarettes for First and described him as a good friend. In the studio, Molly Swain, KCRG Team 9 News.